Hey, what's going on guys? Dan with Barrel Blades and Barbells, and today I'm working on my Glock 19 here. Um, I have my tripod set up, so hopefully it doesn't fall over. It's not the greatest setup I have here. But uh, as you can see, i got a Glock 19. Uh, it does have a little bit of upgrades to it. Uh, extended slide release, uh, Tyrant CNC extended mag release. Uh, i got a plus 2, I believe it is, or plus 3 on the mag extension, back plate. Um, and I also got a backup tactical threaded barrel on it and my sight mark mini shot there. So uh, today what I'm going to be putting on is uh, this here. Handle it grips. Uh, hopefully we can manage to get this added on. Here's their, their logo. You can find them on Instagram and they've got a website also. But uh, hopefully we can get this installed and... Uh, not have too many issues. I, I'm not the greatest at putting sticky stuff, stickers and whatnot, but uh, we'll get it. So here we go. So for the first thing you want to do when uh, doing this is you definitely want to make sure obviously the weapon is clear. So she is clear there, no issues um, in that area. So what you're going to do, if you haven't already torn one of these apart before, basically all you need to do is grip like this, push just a little bit, you're going to pull down on both sides of the little takedown pin here and release. Now it's going to start to slide forward a little bit and it's going to stop. If that happens, just pull the trigger. Obviously that's why you want to make sure it's clear before you do it. And then it will literally just slide right off the rail. That's how you take the uh, slide from the frame. So you can set that off to the side. That is not needed for any of what we're about to do. Okay, so got your slide uh, taken off and you're down to just the uh, frame now. So I'll go ahead and pull some stuff out of here. So it comes with a, a few little pieces, parts here, and I'll be honest, I'm not even sure what all they actually go to. I do know this is for the back strap. So this will actually go, I believe it goes this way and it's cut so it uh, can kind of fit around the uh, the angles that you're going to be working with here. So everything's kind of pre-cut to fit. Now this is uh, Gen 4 so it's got the uh, finger grooves here. That's what these holes in the front are for so you can actually set it on there and get an idea of what it's going to look like. Now the one thing I will say is as you can see I've got the uh, extended mag release here, or the slide release, so I'm going to have to make sure I get that fitted under or take it off one or the other, I'm not sure. I think I can probably get it under there, but you kind of got to test fit and make sure all your uh, little add-ons and things of that nature will fit okay. It's always, anytime you mess with aftermarket parts on anything, fitment is always an issue. I will say a buddy of mine has one of these already on his Glock 19 and he said it was fairly uh, painless installing it. So looks like it'll be a fit, pretty good fit. Might have to trim just a little bit right here. And it's not a, a fitment issue because of something they did. It's because I actually have this Magwell extension on here. So because of that, it's actually pushing from right there to right here where your mag release actually pushes out the left side, or excuse me, the right side. So I might have to trim that, but I think I'll be okay. I think what I'm actually going to have to do is move this down just a fuzz and trim off the bottom side. So it doesn't look like I'm going to have a whole lot of major issues on installing this, but I'm going to go ahead and attempt to get it stuck on and then trim from there. I feel like that'd be a better better setup to, to work with. If I want to cut and adjust, I can. But it looks like for the most part, with the exception of down here, it should fit pretty well. Okay, so we kind of did some dry fitment there and uh, got an idea of what we're going to have to adjust and cut. Nothing too major. Um, so the first step of installation is actually prepping your frame for the uh, adhesive. So 
something I actually just did is I went and like super washed my hands. You can see I've already got some grease just from from touching the weapon, but uh, um, you're gonna take this alcohol swab and bust it open. It's kind of got a nice little spongy swab here, but I'm gonna take it and actually clean. You wanna get off any grease that could be on this thing. And when you're in these, these spots like this where it's textured and whatnot, you really wanna get in there and, and kind of grind it down in. Um, the idea is to get out any oils or grease or contaminants that, that may or may not be um, on the plastic itself, on the, the polymer. You don't want that stuff on there because it will actually adhere to the uh, uh, glue and it, it just won't stick. So you really want to really want to clean this thing well. And also in the directions, it was very explicit. Make sure you let this thing dry completely before you go trying to apply it because if it's wet, it will not stick. So I'm gonna keep playing with it here. And give it once over. You can see there was a, a little bit of dirt there, nothing major. This one, I, I've not had like any major, you know, drops or major dirty range days, so it's not, not too terribly bad. Hopefully this sticks well though. So I went over this whole thing pretty much twice now. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that it's it's good to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out the camera and let this dry and then I'll come back and uh, and we'll try putting it on see what happens. Alright guys, so I got this all clean. My hands are pretty clean so I'm not worried about recontaminating it at this point. Um, hopefully, since I only have uh, one of these, hopefully I don't jack it up. But uh, we're going to attempt to put this side on first and uh, then we'll move to the other side. So I'll give this a shot. I'm not making any promises. Like I said before, I'm not great with uh, sticky items stickers and logos and adhesive stuff is just not my my forte all right so I think the best option is literally going to be and I might not be able to have you guys see this right away but I'm gonna try to line up on the Glock logo first I feel like that's gonna be the best spot to center off of since it kind of is already, it's got a cutout for it that uh, I think is a good, a good start spot. So I'm gonna. Now the one thing I will say is, if by chance we don't like where it's at, we can kind of peel and and work with it. So that's what I got right now. Doesn't look bad. I will say it looks like maybe it's lean just a little bit, like this up here not a lot just a a little bit but you can kind of see that there's a, a slot cut right there a little slit cut in it so the thumb there's actually a thumb grip area on these glocks and I'm hoping it's just because of that because this looks good right here I'm not complaining with how that is so I think I'm just going to leave that the way it is for now. Maybe just wiggle it around a little and roll around to the other side and see what we can do on this side. And make sure everything lines up before we get too in depth on that side. Now being that it's a 19, you've got the, the finger grooves. So I think just kind of lightly, excuse me, I got out the camera lens there. Just kind of wrap, touch in slightly. Gotta kind of make sure we get below the uh, mag release there. Just stay just below it. I feel like that's the most important lineup spot right now is right here. Just because that moves from the other side out this side. And if it's not where it needs to be, you're not you're gonna have problems dropping the mag. 
So feels like that's pretty good there. I'm not it's got a good lineup across this lineup here too, so I think these things are laser cut, so they're pretty exacting. Like there's no major major issues here with an installation. It seems to be going for me, this is going pretty well. So I'm just kind of pushing stuff in, trying to kind of mat it down. Um, I'm going to work down towards the bottom for a very specific reason. You can see right here I got a little overhang on my magwell. I'm going to end up taking a razor blade and just running it right there and just trimming that little, little tiny eighth of an inch spot off there. feel like this I don't really want to do this but I feel like the other side is tighter than this side I had a lot of slack right here I feel like that's better how's that look on the Glock just a little stretched but that's okay I'm not sweating that little stretched out now one thing I will say is if you've got an extended uh, slide release you might have to lift and you might even have to uh, trim it around it that's not a big big issue though once again this stuff is just like rubber with adhesive behind it so basically once you get it where you want it or where it looks pretty decent you just start working it around I do have a little bubble right here I think it's on this side. I will say this stuff actually works works around pretty well. All right. So there's uh there's it on pretty tight here no no bubbles it does feel pretty nice in your hand too all right well I'm gonna cut away and uh, I think the next portion I got to get ready for I got to get the hair dryer or something like that heat gun or hair dryer or something I read in the direction so uh, We'll get that squared away. There you go. Okay, so before I get the heat gun out, I forgot I actually have to uh, put the little accent pieces on here. So there's actually a piece that goes on the back strap here. And as you can see, it's cut so it can kind of flex around and bend. So what you actually have to do is you can see there's a curve here and a curve here. Those two line up and then you just kind of match it as you go up. So I'm going to peel this. Uh, I did clean that already, the back of it, the back strap of the, the Glock. We'll see if I can get this to line up even as, half as close as I did on the, the rest of it. pretty close oh, sorry I was out of the this is really hard to do trying to watch and install without getting out of the camera so what I think is the best thing to do is just try to get it close and then from left to right they're they're made to fit pretty pretty tight maybe not exactly perfect but pretty close as you can see I'm just kind of working one side back to the other and then just like with the regular portion of the grip just kind of work it around so you get kind of the the clean look that you're look you know that you want so there you can see I got it I got it on it, uh, it actually looks really good 
not sure if I can get it to zoom in clean there, but there's a pretty good view around there. And they got the nice cutout for the handle it there. If you have a, a 19X or have a, a Cerakote job already on it, you know, that really shines through there. You'd be able to see that and the Glock come through a lot. It, it'd look a lot more, um, I don't want to say professional, but it would stand out more. You'd see it a lot more uh, distinctively. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that gives you a lot of grip in the back. That feels real good. I like that a lot. All right, so the next thing is there's uh, actually some pieces for where your finger and thumb would be on either side. They're very, very small, and they're cut at an angle. Literally just go right there. So I'm just going to peel these and uh, stab them on there. This is the hardest part right here, is getting the sticky the paper away from the sticky. There we go. Alright, so I think the best thing on this is just kind of just center it and kind of get it close. There's like a, a line right here you can kind of follow and then move it up and down as you need. Always, always remember to press the edges really, really, I don't want to say aggressively, but thoroughly to make them kind of press down. And there's one for this other side. Same thing goes right, goes right here. So I'm going to peel this one off. Actually, it looks pretty good there. All right. Okay. Well, right side, left side. Feels good in the hand. One thing I can want to make sure that you always get in here where it's got that slit cut. You want to push it in and make sure it's nice and tight in there. Because it is, you know, there's an indentation there. And as you can see, the uh, mag release just clears, just just perfect. And you can also tell there is just a little bit of overhang right here. I'll take an X-Acto knife and run it right there and just clean that little, trim that little bit off and it'll be nice. Looks like it's clear the slide on both sides here. It looks like my slide release is going to work well. If it does get hung up, I can just trim this straight back right here and angle it up and pull that little chunk out, clean it, it'll be fine. That is not an issue. Once again, when you're working with aftermarket to aftermarket, you run into issues. Looks like I got it pretty centered too, so that's pretty good. All right. Okay, so for the last uh, last part here, they actually say to do this two to three times. So I went and stole my wife's handy dandy blow dryer here because it says to do it about 130 degrees and a heat gun can actually exceed that and I don't want to take a chance of melting it. So what I'm actually going to do is just kind of set it down here for now. Uh, I'm going to set the heat setting on hot and turn the fan on low. And I apologize, you're probably not going to be able to hear. Turn this this way so I can hold it. And basically all you're going to want to do is just run the, the hot air across it on both sides. You don't want to get too terribly close, but enough that you know, I'm probably an inch and a half, two inches away from it here. What happens is the glue actually starts to melt and then you press down on it and it'll actually help it adhere, adhere to the, the frame a little bit better. It makes it more sticky. And actually I can kind of see some of the, the texturing from the grip underneath kind of poking through. So that tells me that it's, it's heating up, it's getting pliable. 
You kind of see the texture in there. Don't burn yourself while you're doing this. The other thing is if there's any little air bubbles or anything like that, it's actually going to help uh, push them out and kind of get a, a cleaner effect on the side. Man, look at that. That's looking really good. So they say to do this two to three times. Um, I'll probably do it two and see how it feels. And then if I feel it needs a third, we'll give it a third. I would venture to say that up here in the front, especially on a, a Gen 4, uh, to really, that'd be the spot where I'd say if I was going to do it three times, that's where I'd do it. Just because it's got those slits for the finger grooves and I feel like it might, uh, might need a little more. So, um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll come back once I get this all pressed in and see how it looks. Okay guys, so I went over it with the heat uh, three, maybe four times, I don't know, total. I just did it a couple times. Um, as you can see, here's the, the finished product. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. It really gave it a clean look. Um, the grip is phenomenal. Um, the one thing I will say that I wish I actually had was a double undercut right here just because my finger tends to uh, tends to bite up a little bit right there, but versus spending to get that done, I think I'm okay. I'm not sweating that. But yeah, they feel these grips feel really, really good. Gives you a nice, good, clean bite. Um, it doesn't. It feels like it's part of your hand. It's it's in there so well. So. Um, yeah, I really like it. I uh, can't wait to get out to the range and uh, get some time shooting them down, you know, shooting down range and seeing how it, uh, how it performs off a draw. So hopefully this weekend we're able to get out and do some shooting. But uh, yeah, guys, I just wanted to give you a, a video on how to install these and, you know, kind of first impression. Um, yeah, I really like it. I think it's going to be a a great product, a great thing to have on my on my Glock here. So, uh, stay tuned. I'll be doing an update video, um, maybe maybe after this weekend. We'll see how that goes with uh, everything going on in the world right now. But uh, yeah, hopefully I can get you guys a video on on some draws and shoot, and maybe a review on on what I think about the the products themselves. So, all right. Uh, Stay tuned for that and hit the subscribe bell and let me know if you guys want to see something else in particular. I'll see what I can do. So, all right, talk to you guys later.